Welcome back to Humanoid Resource. So, we got an interesting story for you guys. Hit it, Salma. All right. I hope you guys are having a blessed Friday. Now, please claim your seats because I'll let you guys be the judge of the story. So there is this young Canadian lady named Sophia Nu, who I think she has an East African background, who managed to finesse 11 million dollars from influencers in LA and Miami. Now I think the story gained traction when she announced, or somebody announced, that she is having a child with Jack Harlow. What? Allegedly. Now there is this thing going on on social media right now where they're saying surviving Sophia and we're having a lot of people that have been affected by her coming out and saying yes I'm a victim of Sophia's games and we'll show you a little bit of tweets here and there and just public social media outcries so of course I'm going to ask this question um is Sophia Noor what we consider the original Joanne the scammer or she is just one hell of a businesswoman I will say neither, to be honest. I think she's like the Robin Hood for all influencers. Okay, good night. I can't with you right now. Yeah, let's be honest. She did a reverse Uno on them. What in the defense attorney is going on here? You know what? I'm just going to get passionate right now. We got influencer out here selling us some bogus creams, even cryptocurrency. And you know what I mean? Bogus creams. I mean Kylie Jenner. Stop Sorry. It, stop it. Sorry. Stop it. She's talking about Come the on. fake dark Come circle on. eyes. We all know that's hereditary. Proceed. Proceed regardless she did a reverse uno on them and she got paid and the cherry on top of everything i would say is that she used an upcoming artist or rapper jack harlow i thought he was a producer well girl i don't know who he is okay okay Proceed. He, i'm you know a basic rapper who's coming up and using his name to climb up the social ladder of influencers. Well, they're even alleging as well that she's actually even reached out to friends and told them cases like, oh, my mama's sick, or I've been evicted out of my location, and could you please loan me 4,000 and so. So it looks like she doesn't have a specific target. In the other room, hold on, hold on, hold on. The other room, you said that she did not scam you out of money, but she emotionally she scammed, scammed me. You. The only thing that, so, the, only thing, the, the, the only thing the girl scammed me of, she was in Vegas. She had no money, and I bought her a dress because she had no clothes. And I was like, she was like, okay, Ricky, I'll pay you back. But That's all she did. To over here scamming people so what's up with the whole Let's be honest. We all know somebody who will ask money from you, promise you that they will give you back and never do. Yeah, that's true. You know, that happened to me. I remember there's this guy that asked, um, hey, you know, can I can I borrow some money from you? I got one or two things I need to fix. And I was like, yeah, sure, here you go. My God, I never saw that money again. And to be honest with you, I, in the back of my mind, I never, ever give money. I know I'm never going to see you again. Well, you know, that money is definitely gone with the wind. Okay. Well, anyways, I just wanted to say that um, this story is still ongoing. A lot of this could is definitely alleged. Um, so I just give the benefit of the doubt and just see what Sophia has to share when she surfaces. Well, I definitely can't wait to hear her side of the story. Same here. And if you think she's the worst person on earth, no, it goes straight to Victor Lustwick, who tried to sell us the Eiffel Tower twice. Twice. And if you think he's bad enough, how about Alves de Reyes, a 28 year old from Lisbon? He literally printed himself so much money that it caused an economical crisis that led to a nationalist military coup d'etat. Well, these guys clearly make Sophia an amateur. Other than that, you guys, you know what time it is. We have to end this video. Please subscribe and like this video. And see you next time.